Hello. So have you ever talked to a little kid and you ask them what they want to be when they grow up and they give you these crazy um, notions like they want to be an astronaut or they want to be um, the president of the United States when they're an African kid and nobody get offended by that because I am African so I can say that. But you know what I mean? Like they have these dreams without limits or caps on them, right? And then somehow when they go through life and, and they is us, right? When we go through life, um, well-meaning adults in society and the world in general has a way to put little limitations on us, right? And these limitations work as anchors and they hold us down. And so then as we get older and we think about what we want to be or how we want to be or who we want to be, right? Um, we start to limit ourselves, right? And so then the life that we imagine for ourselves isn't this beautiful, fantastic, wonderful, amazing life. It starts to become um, small, like our goals and our dreams and our ambitions become smaller and smaller and smaller, right? Until at a certain point, we kind of give up and just like go with the flow because we have given up on like daydreaming of the what if, right? Well, that's what we are going to do with this exercise. So I like to call this life reimagined. I first did this type of exercise probably about four years ago, and it was a huge game changer for me. Actually, I want to say it was probably five years ago. Um, it was just life reimagined, dreaming about what your life could be if you didn't have any limitations if nothing were holding you back, right? Get fantastical, just dream about whatever you want, right? And just just go for it. Um, not saying go for it right then and there, but I mean, when you are writing or coming up or creating how you want your life to look, you just go for it and don't let anything hold you down or hold you back, okay? And so that is what we're gonna do here. Um, we are going, if you see the discovery sheet that you got, I do this also with my referral circle group and in some of the workshops that I do, I. I love to do this exercise because when you start thinking what if and you open yourself to that, you'll be surprised at the things that show up for you just because you've opened up yourself and expanded a little bit further than what you would have done had you not tried an exercise like this, okay? So that's what we're doing. In the discovery sheet, I want you to take a look at it, okay? And there's going to be a, different, a bunch of different aspects and areas in your life. And I want you to imagine how... The, the life of your wildest dreams, right? Hold the highest vision of yourself, right? And write out, how does that look? How does that look to you in your home life, in your finances, in your business life, in your relationships, right? In your home, everything, right? So we just wanna look at it. And I've put a few examples of the different areas, but you choose the areas that are the most important to you. And let's just daydream. Let's become kids again and just have fun with it and not hold ourselves back in any way. Release those anchors, cut those ties, you know, break through that wall, whatever it takes for you. But just imagine um, a, a, a life where you can be, um, do, and have anything that you want, okay? And right now, let me just give you, I'm, I'm going to take it a little bit to the spiritual sex. So if you're not into that, you can turn it off now. But for my friends that are spiritual, religious, whatever you want to call yourself, the way that I, the way that I was able to let go of some of the anchors when I do an exercise like this is I had to remind myself that I believe that I was created by a divine, abundant creator that is limitless. Okay. And so a creator who is limitless is not going to be limited when they make me, right? And so if I was not created with limits, all right, then there is no reason why I should limit myself. If I was created from abundance, that means I am made of abundance, right? And so why can't we get abundant when we're imagining a life for ourselves? And it's not to say that you're going to get everything you put down right away, but it's just you're opening yourself up to a life reimagined. And so when something comes your way, right, that is in alignment with this new, wonderful, reimagined life, you're not going to be so quick to shut it off because you're not limiting yourself. You have expanded and opened yourself up to receive that abundance. And so that's what I'm asking you to remember or to hold on to when those doubts, those worries, that negative self-talk comes back up again and says, nah, you can't, you can't have that great of a relationship and that, that wonderful career. It doesn't work that way. 
Yes, it can, okay? I'm not saying I have everything that I have ever wanted, but I'm saying I'm a lot closer and I know that I'm getting there and I'm very happy with what I do have because of opening myself up to this new way of thinking and to a life reimagined. So I hope this exercise brings you some joy and just brings you some inspiration, motivation, makes you feel good about life again and reminds you that you are a co-creator of this life. You are divine in every ounce of your being. And if you've forgotten that, maybe this will help you to remember. 